So how can you shift instantly? Sometimes even before you decided to shift. And I know this sounds like absolutely insane, not even possible. It is possible. And in this video, I'm gonna explain some proven studies, real science, real data, that shows at a quantum level that you can shift instantly. And when you, when you decide to shift, there's really an interesting thing that happens regarding your DNA and your uh, the quantum mechanics of how this works that will enable you to shift instantly. So stick around, watch the video, let's get into it. By the way, uh, as I said before, I do have a really useful tutorial here on YouTube on shifting. It explains everything you need to know, exactly how to do it and how it all works. The link's in the description. It might even be the pinned comment. So if you haven't seen that, go and check it out and leave a comment saying, you're you know, just reaffirming your intention to shift. Okay, so the first thing, the first kind of interesting uh, point here is that there was an experiment done on human DNA. This experiment basically, and I have mentioned this before, right? This experiment basically, they took DNA from this guy, separated it from him by about 200 or 300 miles, and then they stimulated the guy's emotions. Now the DNA, which was 200 miles away from the guy, was reacting instantaneously to the stimulus that the, the, the guy was experiencing. There's no explanation for this according to traditional physics and science. The only explanation can be that there is something connecting the two things, the, the human and his DNA, even if they're 200 miles away. Now, what does that mean? That means that potentially everything is connected and everything is interacting instantaneously, sometimes even before the stimulus has been applied. What does that mean? That there have been a few variations of, exp of this experiment where they basically uh, took human DNA, separated it from the human, and yet, and, and the DNA would react electrically before the stimulus was applied to the human, almost as if the DNA knew what was going to happen. By the way, if you hear weird noises, it's because I have my pet rats out playing. They have to play out, you know, they have to be taken out every day, so they're just going to be chilling out here. This is Neo. Say hi, Neo. Anyway, yeah, uh, so that's what the noise is. So by the way, your affirmations are incredibly powerful. So right now, scroll down and just comment something positive. Something like, I will shift, I can shift, uh, it's possible, or you know, I'm gonna shift tonight. Um, and if you, by the way, if you watch other videos and they're kind of critical about shifting, if the whole video is critical about shifting, just leave the video, don't comment on it, don't let it spread around you know, with the YouTube algorithm, uh, and instead just comment something positive on a video which encourages shifting, like this one. So in terms of the holographic reality, emotions tend to be the language that we can basically use. So in this experiment and a few others as well, it's like it's the emotions that actually influence the DNA. Not really the, uh, the intention as such, although that is important as well. It's more about how you feel. Uh, anyway, so it's really about the emotions. The emotions that you have, the feelings you have inside you, dictate kind of what you will manifest and what you'll experience ultimately. A good example of this is let's say if you're trying to manifest, let's say if you're trying to ma manifest money or financial abundance or something like that, okay? If you within yourself feel like you're struggling, if you feel like you need money, it's the emotions, it's the feelings that will be echoed back to you by reality. They'll be mirrored back to you, which is it kind of it doesn't make any sense when you think about it, but um, what it means is, if you let's say if you want to manifest something, it's no good you feeling like you need it because that will be mirrored back to you and then you'll ultimately get more of what you already have which in this case is lack you you have a lack of something so as difficult as it may sound if you want to actually manifest something you need to feel like you already have it and then it will effortlessly come towards you and this is a lot easier said than done of course because if you don't have something how can you feel like you do have it uh, it's almost a game of not not tricking yourself, but kind of putting your, putting yourself into the role of having it already, and what you're really doing, you know, at deep level. Uh, and this can this can get a bit metaphysical, but what you're doing is you're uh, becoming the person who would have those things that you, that you want to manifest, and as a result, those things have to come to you because you have you are becoming or become that person. Yeah, so. Long story short, emotions are the key. You, you can shift and it's essentially possible and proven by these uh, experiments on human DNA. And also there's a couple of other experiments like this. There's this one where they take human DNA and put it into a vacuum and the DNA itself arranges the photons of light in beautiful patterns. And the patterns actually stay there when you take the DNA away. 
And again, this shouldn't be possible. This should be uh, crazy talk, right, compared to traditional science and physics. But the experiments have been done. The results are there. And uh, that's just it, you know. So scroll down and comment something affirming. And if you haven't watched my, you know, kind of my big YouTube video on shifting, the link's in the description. Go and check it out. And I'll see you next time.